Okay, you guys, um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the difference between formula mass and molecular mass. So first of all, each of these substances right here, um, these each are considered to be formula units. Um, and we say formula units because each of these are considered to be compounds. Um, and technically, we usually call any substance that has a metal in it, we say it's a compound. So each of these are compounds. And we don't say it's a molecular unit, we say it's a formula unit. So this whole substance right here, this NaCl, is considered a formula unit because it's a compound. So if I want to figure out the mass of this one okay, formula, NaCl, then what it's called is it's called formula mass. It's like splitting hairs, okay? Um, down here, these substances down here all contain only nonmetals, carbon dioxide, methane, glucose. So each of them contain only nonmetals. And like I said at the very, very beginning of chapter one, um, in chemistry, people use the word molecule pretty loosely. Um, so, they also need to use the term molecule for substances that have only nonmetals. So, I would not call this a compound. I would actually call this, even though technically by definition it is a compound, we would actually call this a molecule. We would call this a molecule, and we would call this a molecule because it only has nonmetals in it. I know it's... Um, very much kind of splitting hairs and um, it kind of muddies the water in regard to your definition of molecule, but that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Okay, so if I want to find the mass of one of these single units, okay, I'm going to go to the periodic table of elements and I'm going to look at the um, atomic weight of each of the elements and I'm going to add them together. So sodium is 22.99, and chlorine is 35.45 AMUs, okay? So we're going to add those together just like we calculate molar mass. I've had technical difficulties all day, so just bear with me. So 22.99 plus 35.45 is 58.44, 58.44, and this time we label it AMUs, okay? So if I wanted to know the mass of one single unit of sodium chloride, I call it a formula unit, or I guess I should say I call, this is a formula unit, and so we call it formula mass. So it's not molar mass, because molar mass is the mass in grams of one mole of a substance, and one mole of a substance is a lot of things, okay? Right now, you are just calculating the mass of one single unit of sodium chloride. And we just go to the periodic table of elements and take the atomic weight of each element and add it together. Same thing here. This guy is called barium chloride. Um, so if I wanted to know the formula mass, okay, of barium chloride, I'm going to go to my periodic table. And we'll round these to two places past the decimal as well. Um, so barium is 137.33, 137.33, plus we have two chlorine at 35.45. And that is going to give us 70.90. That's just chlorine. Um, we're going to have to add the 137.33 to that. Again, my calculator seems to be tired anytime I'm with you guys. Plus 70.90 will give me 208.23 AMUs. So the mass of a single unit of barium chloride is 208.23 AMUs. Now, talk about really splitting hairs. If I find the mass of a single unit of 
carbon dioxide, we would call this molecular mass because this substance is considered a molecule. This substance is considered a molecule, and this substance is considered a molecule. Again, you know it's a molecule, and you know you are dealing with molecular mass um, when there is only nonmetals in the formula. So this guy over here, we're going to calculate it the exact same way that we did up here. Carbon is 12.01, oxygen 2 times 16. That's 32. We're going to add those together. And that will give us 33. Point, I'm just kidding. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. 44.01 AMU. So what we did just now, or what I did just now, um, is I calculated the molecular mass of a single unit of carbon dioxide. So the process is the same whether you are calculating formula mass, so this is formula, and this guy is molecular mass. Again, don't confuse it with molar mass because molar mass is the mass in grams of a lot of stuff. It's the mass in grams of 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd stuff. Okay, This is literally just the mass of a single unit in atomic mass units, a single formula, or I should say molecule in this case, and formula unit up here. Um, calculate it just like molar mass, but it does mean something different. You've just calculated something very, the mass of something very small, Molar mass, you're calculating the mass of something very large. Okay, you guys, um, I figured that was pretty easy for you guys. Um, have a wonderful day, and be good as you always are. I'll see you soon. Bye.